So how do you win at content? And specifically, how do you get comfortable with content? How do you get comfortable with sharing yourself, especially on video? I know this is a thing that holds so many people back. And the reality is, is video is incredibly powerful. And it's so much easier to do than writing. Most of us aren't amazingly talented writers and we're a lot better at speaking. So video for almost all of us, I think absolutely needs to be part of the picture for you. And people struggle with this. And so I just had, I just did a, a podcast. We recorded a podcast, an interview with Will Hamilton. And Will is someone I've known. He's been in my mastermind for 14 years now. And we asked him this question because he's done a lot of video over the years. And what he said is, you know, this probably isn't a very good answer because in the beginning, everyone feels uncomfortable. Everyone feels uncomfortable getting in front of the camera, that, seeing that red dot or that green dot. I'm looking at you right now, that green dot right there. Everyone's uncomfortable with that. And you just have to get over it. And... And he said, but it's, you know, this isn't what people want to hear. This isn't a good answer for you because people don't want to feel uncomfortable. And then he went on to say a lot more, but I thought that was such an interesting thing because the truth is that most people are uncomfortable and they don't want to feel uncomfortable. So they put off shooting the video. They put off turning on the camera. And that shows you how you win. You win as an entrepreneur by doing the things that make you feel uncomfortable. You know, I'm, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm, a, I'm your biggest cheerleader. I believe all of us can can build something great. I feel all of us can, can just make a great impact. And I just want to be your cheerleader. But I also, you know, I, I also just want to be the truth teller that says, if you're going to build a business, you're going to have to do things that are uncomfortable. And you're going to have to feel, you're going to have to be okay with feeling uncomfortable. And you're going to have to almost celebrate feeling uncomfortable. And you're gonna, it, it's part of the journey. It is part of the journey. And there's no way around it, whether it's video or something else. There are th gonna be things that make you uncomfortable. And you have to get, get good at being uncomfortable. And you know, no one is a natural at video. When I think back, when I guess it was about 2010 when I started doing videos. And believe me, when I started my business, it was just 100% email based. There's the, the idea that I would ever be sharing any part of my life or shooting videos was so far from what I thought was, you know, possible or, or, or it just it wasn't in the realm of possibility. I mean, doing online video wasn't a thing back then. But in 2010, I was like, okay, yeah, video is going to be a big thing. I got to get this figured out. And I remember those first videos, I would literally do them one line at a time. I would script them out. I would script them out and I would have them on a teleprompter and I would do one line and one sentence and it would typically take me 10 or 11 or 12 takes per sentence. I was horrible, absolutely horrible. And you know what? You just get better by putting in the reps. And now, I don't know, on this channel, I'm well over 500 videos. And, you know, you probably noticed I'm not super scripted. I'm out walking in the woods. I'm not super scripted. I have the capability to just turn on the camera and talk. And I think appear somewhat normal. <laughs> no one's a natural. I wasn't a natural. If you ever think anyone is a natural, just go to their YouTube channel and go to their videos, go to the video page and sort by their, the oldest videos, you know, and then just scroll and look at their first videos. And a few channels, they go back and they, they, they kill the old ones. They, they delete them because they're so ugly. But for those cha many channels don't. And you can go back and look at their earliest videos and then look at their newest videos. And you can see the difference that a bunch of reps make that just put in the work. So another star of our PLF community is Anne LaFollette. And Anne didn't start in this business until she was in her 60s. And she just started doing lives. She started doing Facebook lives, teaching on her topic matter, which is surface design. And initially it was just her cousin was the only person showing up. And she was just putting in the reps. She was learning how to do it. She was learning to feel comfortable on camera, to speak to the camera. And then eventually when she started to feel en enough comfort with just having her cousin showing up and watching her, then she started running some 
Facebook ads and just had one or two people on and then gradually grew her audience from there. She, she put in the reps, she learned, she found her voice, she found what resonated and built from there, putting one foot in front of the other. So no one's a natural at this. You have to get comfortable with it. And you also have to understand when you start out, there's probably not gonna be very, very many people watching. It, none of us starts off with an audience. So yay you, if you don't have a big audience, you're just starting out, fantastic. Because that means there's gonna be very, very few people seeing your early mistakes. You know, another friend of mine, Jeff Johnson, he said, practice on your B clients. In other words, don't go for the biggest stage right away. You don't want a massive stage the first time you step on stage. And it'll be the same with your content, the same with your video. You're probably not gonna have that many people showing up and watching early on. Put in those reps, get comfortable, and get comfortable with feeling uncomfortable. I'm Jeff Walker, we're ever watching this. Scroll down, leave a comment for me, give me a thumbs up, tell some, tell some friends about my videos, and let's go get them this week.